Have you ever wondered how you can showcase online that you are trustworthy to your current and your future customers? How can you get this message across in the content that you post? How can you position yourself differently to other businesses on the topic of trust? If your customers trust you, then they're less likely to question your pricing, your process, or your people. Today, we are unpacking three simple ways that you can get the trust message across in your marketing in 2023 with very little time, effort, and money involved. So let's get into today's episode. Welcome to Market Your Tradie Business. If you are like most other tradie business owners who struggle to find the time for marketing, then this podcast is for you. You'll get bite-sized episodes for the time-poor business owner, which are both easy to understand and implement into your business. I'm Cass, your host from Builds by Captive Media. So let's get into today's episode. G'day fam, welcome back to the penultimate episode in season one of the show. I can't believe it's almost at the end of the year, but hey, almost time for that well-deserved break and some chill time to reflect on the year that was. Now today we are talking about the very important topic of trust, because without trust, we don't have a business. It's critical that your current and future customers feel that you are a trustworthy business that they feel comfortable working with. And I think that tradie businesses can sometimes get, you know, a bit of a start on the back foot when it comes to the topic of trust. Right or wrong, I think there is a generalized perception to people outside of the trade industry that maybe a tradie business would be less trustworthy. Thanks to the minority of businesses that have contributed to that perception, it's something that is the reality for a lot of tradie businesses that they need to show they are trustworthy off the bat. And it's a question that I get asked a lot in the Market You Tradie Business community. And so I wanted to share three simple strategies for building trust with your business when it comes to your marketing. The first idea around this is one that I talk about a lot on Instagram if you follow Builds by Captive Media. But that is to show the face of the people in your business. People do business with people and a picture or videos of your team smiling and showing approachability can do a lot of the hard work for you in showing that you can be trusted. And if you don't have pictures of your team on your website and on social media, then this is the very first place that I encourage you to start because pictures really do say a thousand words when it comes to this. The second idea is for you to have a consistent approach to educating your customers in the way that you communicate in your marketing, but also through direct customer contact. Now, what do I mean by this? Say you send your customer an invoice for the work that you've done, and it's got the price and it's got the name of the service listed. What do you think your customer is going to think when they read this? The answer is that they could draw any number of conclusions, but some of them might be, What am I paying for here? Am I being ripped off? How long did this take to do? And look, none of these build trust with you as a business. But imagine if before the customer even worked with you, they've learned about the process of how you do your work through your educational content on Instagram. They've even watched a video where you have personally explained the process. Then when they get the initial quote, it was broken down in detail what would be required to do this work. Then they were communicated with throughout the work where each stage was at. And when the invoice finally came through, it details again the same breakdown of services and explains exactly how it builds out the final cost. This customer would be likely to have a lot more trust with you than the first customer did. I would suggest to put yourself in the customer's shoes as much as possible. And remember that they are unlikely to understand the industry terminology, the process, what's required to do the job. So it's your role to educate them on this in your marketing online, but also once they become a customer. With your marketing, this all comes down to the question of what does your customer need to know and understand in order to do business with you? If you can start by making a list of everything that they would need to know and understand before they work with you or before they say yes to that contract, 
then this can form the basis of a number of pieces of content that you might share online in an educational fashion. The third strategy is to showcase your customer success stories. This can look like sharing a testimonial, sharing how you have fixed a problem for a customer, sharing how the customer's life is improved now that the work is done, particularly good for builders. Customer success stories can be otherwise known as social proof, which is absolutely gold for building trust because those words and that content is showing happy and successful outcomes for your real customers. Those words are coming from them. It's not you saying great things about your own business. So your takeaway for today is to look at three things. Have you got photos and videos showing the faces behind your brand on your website and your social media? Are you consistently educating your customers through social media content and in your communication? And are you showing customer success stories for your real customers and showcasing testimonials as social proof? Start with these three things if you're looking to increase trust and get the trust message across with your tradie business. Now, when it comes to creating social media content, You might have been trying to improve your Reels game for a while on Instagram or even just learning how to do Reels in the first place. So don't forget you can get access to Reels for Tradies for free for a limited time. And Reels for Tradies is the 30 minute training that teaches you how to create Instagram Reels to market your tradie business. And hint, hint, this is absolutely great for building trust with your customers through social media. Swipe it through the link in the description for this episode. Until next time, keep building trust and being remembered and I'll catch you in the next episode.